Okay, let's get through 21 to 25. And so we have a budget here and we are going incremental, which is a nice one, always quite nice incremental. Um, and it says stationary and postage. Yeah. So stationary is a 3% inflation. So your stationary budget um, is 14,000. And then of course, this, this has increased by inflation. And then you have your postage. Your postage is 11,200, and that is increasing by 4%. Yes. So you have 14,000 times 1.03, takes you to 14, 420. And then you have your postage, which is 11,200 times 1 1.04, which is taking you to 11648. Okay. 11648. Add the two together. 14420 and that takes you to 26,068 so that's a nice figure there 26,068 at C at C hey okay. um, so this is an interesting question because my answer wasn't in there but the answer says not applicable so I suspect there might be a problem with the question but when if you were doing this question it says you've produced a cash budget here are your credit sales is all on credit 41 47 and 48 here they are and then, of course, you have your purchases. Um, here they are, 414 and 42. Depreciation is irrelevant. Depreciation is not a cash flow. Depreciation is not a cash flow. It's an accounting expense. So let's look at what's going on here. In terms of receipts, it says that 30% pay in the month of when they buy from you and the rest pay in the following month. So what I've just literally done is that that's the 4,100. Here, what you will see is here it's a 30% of the 4,100, and the difference is is just the 4,100 minus the 1230 is received the next month. The same applies here. 30% of February is here, and the difference is received in March. And in March, 30% of March is here, and the difference in April. But I'm not interested in April. Right? I'm not interested in April. I stop here. So in March, what we're saying, therefore, is that this is what comes in, those two together. Now, in terms of what goes out, if I'm reading this carefully, it's saying that you have these payments and you pay two months later. So you use you, you pay two months later. That's the best time. Sorry. Sorry. You know, actually, yeah, you pay two months later. So you, you buy in January, but you pay in March. So this should be 4100 actually. If I do that. 4,100, yeah, your purchases, you pay two months later, you get 630. That's what they're saying. So buy here, pay here. So six. So my answer might actually be there. Sorry, forgive me. So your answer is 630. Let's just look here. So the answer is D. It's just my answer was there. 630. But I don't know why this is saying not applicable. It should be 630. That's the answer. So the answer is D for that question. Hey, great stuff. So let's look at question 23. Um, it's very kind of an interesting question. You just take it step by step. So it's saying that um, you need eight kilograms of wool to make a rug. And at the end of March, you have, an, you have an opening situation where you have four kilograms of wool available and you have six completed rugs. So six completed rugs. So they're saying, listen, you want to have 10 rugs at the end of the period. And you also want to have 16 kilograms of wool. And it says that you want to sell 60 rugs. So what we're really saying is, I'll just change my pen color, is that you're going to start with six rugs, then you're going to produce a certain amount of rugs, if you like. And um, when you produce these number of rugs, let's just call them X. So I'm going to have six rugs. I'm just doing it really like practically. I'm going to make X number of rugs. Then we're going to sell then we're going to sell 60 rugs, and then we're going to have 10 rugs left. That's what this means in simple English. The question here is, how many rugs did we produce? I start with six, I make another X, I sell 60, and I have 10 rugs left. So therefore, the number of rugs that we produce must be X will be equal to 10 rugs plus 60, minus six rugs, right? And that's equal to 64 
rugs. So I must have produced 64 rugs. 6 plus 4 is 6 plus 64 is 70. 70 minus 60 is 10. So 64 rugs is what I produce. So if I produce 64 rugs, I'm now clear. Okay, so I'm going to produce 64 rugs, and I need 8 kilograms to produce each rug. So that's 64 times 8, and that's 512. So I need 512 kilograms for my production. So let's just see what that means. I'll just, I can erase this and just give myself some space here. So now I know I need for production 512 kilograms, but let's see how many kilograms I'm going to have to purchase because um, I have some kilograms already in stock and um, we're going to have to think about that. So I have four kilograms right now in stock. I need to buy a certain number of kilograms, if you like, and then release 512 kilograms to the warehouse so they can make the rugs. And I must have 16 kilograms left. That's what it's saying, right? It's saying that you're going to start with four kilograms, buy some more kilograms, get rid of 512 kilograms to the production team, and be left with 16 kilograms. Because that's the closing inventory. So that means that I must have bought 16 plus 512 minus 4, which ends up being 524 kilograms. Yes, 16 plus this is 528, minus 4 is 524, so your answer is, your answer is D. Talk about profiled budget. So what you have here is you have a total budget of 32,700, a total budget, let's put that as a total, and you have these lump sums, lump, lump sums, lump sums, um, four of them, which means that they, as a, as, as a total, they are um, 16,800 in total. But also you have a maintenance charge of 7,500. So you have this, this. So the question here is, well, what's outstanding? Because it says the remaining budget. So what's outstanding is 7,500 plus um, 16,800 minus 32,700. So you have, I'll just use a different pen color. A, a final difference of 8,400. So what we have here are three things, 7,500, four lump sums of 4,200, which is 16,800, and a final budget of 8,400, all making the 32,700 being discussed here. What is the profile for the first six months? Well, when we look at the first six months, so April to September, end of September, this fee of 7,500 is paid in October, so it doesn't feature in our budget. Then you have two payments of the 4,200 May and August. So you have 4,200 here, and you have 4,200 here. And then it says the rest of the budget, 8,400, is profiled evenly. So by halfway through the year, you'll have of this 8,400, you'll have 4,200 here, and you'll have 4,200 here. So I'm only interested in this 4,200 up to here. So I have three lots of 4,200s in effect, is what I'm saying that we have here in the first six months. And 4,200 times three takes just nicely to 12,600. 12, okay, great stuff. So the answer is A. Question um, 25 in this um, series, question 21 to 25, is that um, we, we need 50 50 liters of paint. We currently have 10 liters. Um, so remember, this is a sunk cost, right? We're really interested in the, a future decision. So the paint currently held by the company is regularly used. So the truth is, even if you take this paint, you need to replace it. So in truth, you might as well just go and buy your liters, 50 times 2.8. You might as well. I mean, even if you take their paint, take their 10 liters, you need to replace their 10 liters and buy 40, which is the equivalent of you just going ahead and buying 50. So we have 50 times 2.8, which is 140 pounds, if you like, is what you're going to end up spending. That's the relevant cost about making that decision. The decision really is that if I'm going to be exchanging value, I need to be, the value I currently have in my hands right now is worth 140 pounds. Whatever I get for it must be more than 140 pounds. It's the point. Right. 
cool great stuff and that is the end of um questions um, 21 to 25 right? and so just to highlight that point again relevant costing sometimes you get questions where they say things like oh um inventory can't be sold for um can't be used again within the organization it can it can now just be sold for for example two pounds that would be the relevant cost for the 10 units so you can take the 10 units of paint because you're technically buying it from the company and then just go out there and buy 40 but this organization regularly uses paint so that's not a question that's not a point okay great stuff